You know it's bad for a unit when the Twitter post from the publishers announcing your release talks shit about you. When Lowlight himself comes to you and he's like, yeah, let's not beat around the bush, you f***ing suck. You drive me insane. She uh, is a unit of many hidden talents. So hidden, in fact, I have yet to find them. Quartz is what happens when a Centurion Guard has an abortion, but despite all odds, the half-human aborted fetus survives, feeding off of thrown away food and heroin needles, and then grows up to become a Crusher Guard. I would call Quartz the worst four-star, but Frostleaf still exists, at least when you eat two Quartz she does get better, unlike Frostleaf, who permanently becomes worse when you eat too. Just actual honest to god permanent account damage. Here's Quartz's trait. Yeah, it's just a Centurion. So what is it that differentiates her? Well, you know Franca's skill too? That skill that is damn near unusable because it lowers Franca's defense to zero? What if we made a whole archetype out of that? Yeah, they somehow made Franca worse. I guess you can argue that she doesn't need to worry about enemies that lower defense since it's already at zero, but that's like saying you have a very fast car because it's currently falling off a cliff. The idea here was obviously to have a glass cannon archetype. If you don't know, glass cannons are a type of class present in a lot of games. Basically, it's units with 7 morbillion attack, but like 10 HP. You trade massive offensive power for dying when someone gives you a stern look. And Quartz does, in fact, fold like a chair when someone as much as looks at her wrong. The issue is that Hypergrief forgot the cannon part. She's just glass. You get all the frailness of glass cannons without any of the benefits. Yes, her attack stat is very high, but her actual DPS isn't that good, because she attacks once every 3 seconds. You can take full coffee breaks between every attack of hers. Talent 1, Wilderness Wanderer, very simply gives her a buff to her HP and her attack. That's about as small as a Scuddy fan's penis. Well, to be fair, this buff is a little larger than that. Skill 1 is attack up beta, not even gamma. If you know me, you know I hate attack up gamma. It's bad, it's lazy, it's a bad look, and it essentially means whichever operator has it has one less skill. Like Mostima or Rosa Poca Rosa, only have two skills in practice. And this isn't even that, it's attack up beta. This feels like a personal attack to some extent. This skill doesn't address her main issue of flopping over and dying, and it's also lazy and uninspired. And you wanna know the best part? This is her best skill. Attack up beta is her best skill, because at least you can make her do more damage without a drawback. Not that it really matters, because plenty of other 4 stars have better DPS. So, we've established her problem is that she's way too frail, and her DPS isn't enough to make up for it. You're better off using Vigna in the vast majority of situations, but surely skill 2 will have something to address the problem. Even the shitty shelter effect would be fine. Increases damage taken by 25%. Why? And this is all damage, by the way. Physical, arts, and true damage. So she ends up taking more damage, even from things like the poison mist maps. What was Lowlight cooking? Take the utensils away from this man! 
the skill also gives her an attack speed buff, a minor attack buff and a 1 in 4 chance to stun. And if you really want to roll the stun lottery, there is my beautiful wife Gummy for that. And she doesn't even need a skill to do it. That's how perfect and gorgeous and wonderful and OP she is. I feel like I am going insane looking at this. If you didn't know, it's proven that the brain imposes order on whatever it perceives, and my brain simply cannot do that with Quartz's skill too. I can tell you why the game changed towards DPS, why Unectis was made like that, but here I am clueless, I need a map because I'm getting lost. Then you get Wind Chimes, the 5 star crusher, she's not as bad or as contradictory as Quartz, uh, she has a fucking attack of gamma, and the shelter effect I mentioned prior. So uh, she isn't completely tragic like Quartz, just uh, one thing. Why does she have Vigor? For those who don't know, Vigor is a buff that is applied when the unit is above a certain percentage of HP. That shit is not gonna be reliable on a Crusher. Often in my videos, I like to call bad units useless or purposeless. Tsukinogi's skill 1 literally doesn't do anything. Vigil is purposeless when the wolves die. But Quartz is not just aimless, she is almost non-functional. What is the branch even for? If you want the AoE damage, use a Centurion. If you want the Caveman damage, use any one of the 3 billion DPS units. If you want to stun, use my gorgeous wife Gummy. If you want someone that can duel casters very well, use Franca or Matoimaru or uh, literally anyone with Nightingale. Her whole branch doesn't have a reason to exist, it has no place in the ecosystem of the meta of this game. And worst of all, she's boring. But uh, I'll have Silver Gun explain that better. Okay, uh, Mr. Gun Made of Silver, I have uh, some uh, questions for you. I'd be glad if you could answer them. Yeah, go right ahead. First, uh, say who you are and uh, what you do uh, for the people who don't know you. I make bad YouTube videos with four stars in Arknights. Uh, the, my account is called Silver Gun. Yeah, he's a reputable source. First, yes, uh, so. <laughs> first... Uh, uh, what's your uh, general opinion on uh, Quartz? That she is very, very bad for a bunch of different reasons. So why, why in the Lord's name did you decide to do uh, an IS3 Quartz simping run? Like who, what drives a man to do that? I like her character design. I think how she is constantly depressed and knows she's useless is hilarious. If you saw the uh, the Twitter post where she got announced, uh, even uh, the f***ing developers are like, uh, yeah, she's unremarkable, she sucks. Very accurate. She has a completely phoned-in design. Like, crushers don't even have their own trait, they're just AoE guards with shitty stats. So, what would you say is Quartz's biggest issue? I think her kit is boring, like every part of it. The AoE guard trait is one thing, but then the talent, and the other crusher has a similar talent. It's just a stat stick, it doesn't do anything interesting. And then her skills are plus 80% attack and plus some AS, PD and some minor stun chance. I think her kit is just kind of boring in practice. So the issue is that she's just a bad centu centurion. Yeah, exactly. Right? I just think the crusher design is really phoned in. As a yeah, they're just bad, boring centurions. And what would you say is her biggest strength, if she has any? Um, there's two ways to look at this, from a general player standpoint and for somebody who plays way too much Arknights like me. The yeah. most useful thing in her kit for me is the stun, because sometimes you can roll the stun gacha for 50 years and turn something 10 times in a row. I've definitely never done that before. Especially not I mean, if you wanna roll the think. stun gacha, there is Gummy, if you wanna roll the stun gacha. Yeah, but coming. 
Um, the most useful thing about her is she has a fairly large health pool, so against arts damage she won't up instantly, so she's good at tanking that. But I'm not really a fan of that in general, because you still need a medic to heal it, a random marcher can do massive damage. It's useful to drop her on a caster, but that doesn't really come up often, because you need casters that are isolated from units that deal physical damage. Just practically speaking, she's only useful for a few tryhard like me. Well, I mean, uh, true damage is not an issue. <laughs> yes, it you is. Know? Because of her S2. So, oh, it is, huh? Yeah, 25% increased damage. It's not increased physical damage, it's not increased start oh, damage. Oh, on everything! Yeah. Oh, f I didn't know that! When then that, uh, you can't even uh, meme uh, that uh, true damage isn't an issue. That's really sad. I, di I didn't know that. I have no idea why it makes her take Yeah, she's already frail. Why does she e take even more damage? That's really stupid. It would have been awesome if Crushers had a trait that synergized with how fragile they are. Like, they get attack speed. Yeah, like, like Musha's. Uh, like, Musha's yeah, exactly. have that. Yeah, exactly, but you can still heal them, or they get increased attack or whatever, when they're at lowered health. Then that skill would make perfect sense, because she gets hurt faster. And uh, would you say that she's the worst for star, or is Frostleaf still the worst one? Well, if you want to co count Frostleaf, then yeah, of course isn't the worst for star. But Frostleaf is also worse than most of the three stars, for general use. I mean, Frostleaf is the only operator that gets permanently worse with E2. Yeah, at least... Uh, Quartz gets less shitty when you invest in Yeah, at least the Quartz gets better when you win to. She actually does damage. Um, so, if you have an AoE guard like Estelle, well, Estelle specifically, because everyone else does more damage, but Quartz technically does more damage than Estelle. I say technically because in practice you're not going to get that result than most enemies, because of overkill doing a lot of damage on Quartz, and because Estelle can target 3, of course. But on paper, Quartz does have decent damage. It's just not enough to compensate for how fragile she is. So, uh, how would you fix her? How would you fix uh, maybe even the whole branch, uh, the Crusher branch? Because Wind Chimes also f sucks, you know? Wind Chime is tragic to me, because you have a super fragile quas and then you put f Viger on the talent. That's just... Yeah, she cute. also has Attack Up Gamma as the skill one, so... Uh... Yeah. And look, it's so much bigger, but then she gets hit twice and she doesn't have an attack buff anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's an inside joke from the developers that just hate certain units, so they make them crushers. When they played Monster Hunter, they only used longswords. So, so how would you fix them? How would you fix uh, the branch? Uh, yeah, I basically already went over that. Just fix their f straight, and by fix, uh, I mean replace it by something that's actually unique and not just copied from another archetype that already exists. The way they are right now, I don't see any point in them existing in the first place. That's kind of what using Quartz feels like, when you put the stale against enemies that can kill her really easily. Okay, so uh, it's like uh, always using a really fragile, really shitty Estelle. If they had some trait where they could benefit from being made of paper, I think that would be cool. Mm. Because Mushas are actually pretty tanky. They have relatively high defense for a guard. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. They self-sustain. So like cut the self-sustain just so you actually have to kill them yourself and then give them some bonus when they lose health. I think that would be cool. At that point, uh, just make them a Musha or make them a Centurion. There's well, no need to have uh, Crushers. Yeah, the way it is right now, they're fighting their pointless, which is yeah, why I really uh, like the archetype. Do you think there's gonna come out like a six-star Crusher that's gonna be like a Passenger and the Mountain that's, that just fixes the shitty archetype? Mountain just isn't a Browder, he's an AoE guard. That's yeah. how he fixed Browders, by <laughs> yeah. that being one. Yeah, you get there, yeah. Do you think the six-star Crusher can fix this, or is there no hope for the archetype? Oh yeah, of course, uh, you can make it strong. You just put Meowner S3 on it, and it's uh, strong. Yeah, you just uh, give him a nuke. Yeah, yeah, just make something like S3 expand rage, target six target, do 300% attack, and whatever, whatever, and it's done. The, the archetype is fixed, now it's good. It's not that it... But it's still terribly designed. Whether it does damage or not isn't the issue. I just yeah. think on the base level, the trait is just pointless and boring. Yeah. Uh, this is the final question. Uh, do you think about your own mortality? Like, the fact you're gonna die soon? Like, does it bother you? Or did you come to terms with it? Or do you not think about it? 
Oh yeah, I've come to terms with it when I was twelve. That's that's an I mean, early age for that. That just seems kind of obvious to me now. I'll probably die when I'm sixty. Until then, we'll see. Uh, okay, that's all. That's actually all I wanted to ask. Uh, thank you for your time, Mr. Uh, handgun made of uh, mineral called silver. No bother. Have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day too. Uh. And that was all for the silver gun interview. Uh. Well, uh, that's all. I don't have anything else to say. Max out your gummy. Bye. <laughs> Hey, thank you for watching, and thank you to the channel members shown on screen right now. A special thank you goes to uh, Nubpo, Good Old Brian, Como to Brazil, Bahaigna, Chromchan but JJF, and Yuval. It's in part thanks to you wonderful people if the videos keep coming out, so feel free to brag about it to everyone you know. After the other home